They're in almost every neighborhood. Adult arcades, also known as internet cafes, and at one time considered illegal here in Florida. Now it appears law enforcement just looks the other way as these businesses continue to operate and grow all across Jacksonville. This is a story that News 4 Jack's I-Team reporter Jim Pickett has been following for more than a decade, starting when the cafes first opened locally. This evening, Jim shows us why City Council is now getting involved, calling for a moratorium on new ones opening here. I'm out here on Lem Turner, and this is just one of many adult arcades, we used to call them internet cafes, that's operating here. It has permits by the city, and everything is above the board. But some city council members are questioning the influx of these internet cafes throughout the city. The latest check with the city shows there are now 94 adult arcades in Jacksonville. There are hundreds more that tried to open but never received permits. We drove around town today checking on sites to see where they're located. Now I tried talking to owners and waved off each time, but customers are still telling me they have no problems with the arcades. What you do you know, think of these things? I, I don't see what they're doing in home. They just, you know, it's just like Las Vegas, I guess, you know, just Got something to do, go cool off. Today, city council members met to discuss the increase in the number of arcades. Earlier laws limited how many could be here, but no one appears to be enforcing that. Now, Councilman Al Ferraro told this group he's proposing a moratorium on any new arcades until they get a handle on how to enforce the old rules. There were limits on how many of these were supposed to be in Jacksonville at one time. City Council right. passed that before. And now, when I just counted today, there's 94 uh, that are legitimate, mm -hmm. that are permitted. And it should have never been more than 25. Does it bothers like me. Of course it bothers me. Because you got, you got uh, people going around what should be done. And that's not what we were put in office to do. We were trying to uphold the law. We're trying to look out for our community. At the meeting was a former operator of the original Internet cafes in Jacksonville, Allied Veterans of America. That's the group that was shut down by the state and taken to court. I asked Jerry Bass about those operating today. I think they're as legal now as they ever were until they sit down and pass a law saying that they are illegal. While city council is going to draft up that legislation looking for the moratorium, it should be introduced at the next meeting. And also on all of this, there are new details and they're waiting to see what happens with the lawsuit that had been filed years ago by the Seminole Indians against some of the operators here in Jacksonville, claiming that all of this is illegal. And they kind of want to see how this is going to come out. That's been two years in court. You know, with this influx of cafes, we do have a map on our website at newsforjacks.com that will show you where they're located, what ones are in your neighborhood. Take a look at that. We're live at City Hall, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.